Now, coming this spring to Vita is an exclusive game called Monster Mon Piece. Ooh, sounds like, like a cute monsters. little fun game, Damon. Yeah. Why don't you tell me about it? It's out in. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? It's already out in Japan. It's been out in Japan for like a year. Those characters are dressed <laughs> a little racy, but I'm sure that's. Just, I'm sure it's just the cover <laughs> this, that entice you in. This for kids. is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. This is rated lower than G compared to what's actually in the game. So the deal with this game is that uh, it's a card battle game, but the cards are girls. They represent monster girls that you meet during your travels. It's also an RPG, and then you get their cards in your arsenal when you battle other people. And it sounds like a lot of fun, Damon. Yeah, so you love card games. You're always I playing do. that magic. So it's a Vita game. The Vita has a touch screen, right? Yes, <laughs> this is confirmed. <laughs> right. Uh, the cards level up. In order to level up the cards. You turn your Vita vertically, and then you get a big full screen re- view of the card, and you rub your Vita. Uh, it's a, so you rub the image of the girl vigorously, basically until she levels up and some of her clothes pop off. And then I think the cards have three levels. Actually, I'll do the German one. They have three levels each card. And then uh, the, you know, they become increasingly, like the level three card is, is the most scantily clad. Oh, okay. This is the game that's been out in Japan for over a year. Monster sure. Monpies coming out here in the spring in, the, in Europe and in the U.S. There you go. Jeez Louise. But the game, yeah. There's just a lot this of This is the part. Now, the, <laughs> the, ridiculous the, player, jiggle. the player is rubbing at this part. Oh, goodness oh, gracious. And they're moving. Like, this is the You'll game. notice Physics? the bingo wings are not Whoa, flapping. Whoa, that the seal? Part. The seal's just really <laughs> impressed with, with the game. So, but the, the thing is that there's been some controversy about this because the game is actually being censored. Like, we, you know, this... When it comes out in America, right? When it comes, well, this is, the, this is the U.S. trailer. Okay. So this is what we'll get, but apparently the, there are 350 cards in the game. 40 of them have been censored. So we won't get the actual Japanese versions. 40 of those cards, when you level up to level 3, it'll just revert back to the level 1 art. So you're not going to see the level 3 art. It was deemed too racy mm. for Western mm. audiences. You're really upset about this, aren't you? Dan? I'm not upset about this. I'm just re. I'm just <laughs> relaying the information. Me, buddy. <laughs> Damn, um, touchy much? <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> um, some people were upset about this. Now, the audience for a game like this, which includes me, is pretty small. Yeah. Right. It's this game niche. is not it's gonna. A niche market. This game is not gonna do gangbusters. Oh. Um, but I think it's interesting that the, uh, the publisher that's bringing this over decided to just go ahead and censor the game beforehand. Who's the publisher? I don't want to... Put you on the Yeah, spot. I know. I, I cannot Isn't it more interesting that the publisher made this game in the first place? I think, I think it's Idea it? Factory. They're one of those uh, publishers Our that bring developer. over so, Japanese games. I mean, you know, we can talk about censorship, freedom of speech, but what yeah. jumps out to me about this is that the audience for this game is tiny, as Damon right. says. And they're the people that are going to be most upset about it being censored. <laughs> I mean, right? They upset yeah. the only yeah. audience that's interested in the game to begin with. This right? game was never going to be a I bestseller. Mean, they're in a tough spot because it's like a game like that could, you know, there was, there was an issue with uh, Dragon's Crown, right. right, when it came Sorceress. out. Sorceress. Yeah, there's like, you know, sexual imagery in that. And then it becomes a thing. It's not that it's sexual so much as it's just like obnoxious depictions. Of Gratuitous, yeah, yeah. 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 Chauvinistic, yeah. Ridiculous. So it's like, I mean, like, you could just bring the game over as is and then. The audience that's into that will buy it, and they like it, and that's done. Right, but they did this, and I don't think people, the people who are excited for this game won't buy it now. Okay. But I do think we're talking about it on GameScoop, which we wouldn't, we wouldn't have before, unless it would have <laughs> oh, been released, God. and then somebody would have been super mad about it, and then, like... The, like but the it Jedi still has all the us. same problems. To Damon's point, it has all the same problems still, I mean, thematically. Sure. yeah. And it, it just it has a little bit less skin. It's yeah, just, that's just a stupid way you to censor. You still do the rubbing thing. Like yeah. That's still part so, of the game. So speaking of stupid censorship, uh, also same Bravely way. Default, same yeah. way. Uh, there, in Bravely Default, which is coming out in a few weeks for DS, there is a bunch of characters with skimpy clothing. Um, and they, they took that out. But it's funny because these characters are like, like... Little chibi characters. Yeah, they're chibi characters. They're not even like realistic or even big boob representations of characters. They're just a little bit more naked than usual. Mm-hmm. And so th- they clothe them a little bit. And then they yeah. change the, na- the, the, the age of the characters right. in text from 15 to 17. That's, mm-hmm. that's what strikes... That's what's really funny to me about Bravely Default. Is like if, you're, if you only need to change their age up, then maybe you need to look more closely at your character models. Which I know they change those too, but yeah. like... And also, 17 is still not legal in America, so I don't know what, what's the difference. Why is 15 morally bad, but 17 really? Yeah, it's fine. 17 is fine. 
localization this is a very strange um, I think in the case of Bravely Default, like that's a game with a lot of broad appeal that looks like it's going to be a massive hit. <laughs> broad appeal. <laughs> broad appeal. Um, no pun intended. Uh, but that game, they want it to be another Final Fantasy. The mm-hmm. game sounds like it's going to be great. We gave it a really positive review. They want mm-hmm. that game to be a monstrous, broad hit. Um, hit, with, <laughs> hit with the broads is what I'm getting at. Um, this game, Monster Mon Piece, is not that. So yeah. that's why, that's the difference between... Anymore. That's well, why, you know, for me, I understand Bravely Default censor- censorship, and I think Monster Mon Piece's censorship is probably a mistake for them. I think they're well, frustrating right. and angering the only audience at that game. Yeah, but if you now, it can go, now it can go one of a couple ways, where uh, it can be, somebody's, now if somebody's mad about the depiction of the females in the game, they'd be like, hey, we tried, we censored it to uh, a degree we wanted to. Or they can go the opposite route, and we've heard the fan feedback, and the 40 <laughs> cards are back in the game. It's like, <laughs> you can rub their boobs again. Rub them all. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the rubbing is still in there, so it's like, I think people could still be offended by it, right? So yeah, it's like, 100%. maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't censored enough to avoid that, so then, like, what do they... I mean, yeah, you're, I mean, like, you know, it's like basically throwing someone a bone, right? And the fact yeah. of, like, well, the gameplay is still rubbing. Like, yeah. we can't do anything about that, but yeah. we can. They said the, the gameplay is in, totally intact. They didn't change the gameplay. They're not, you know, removing any part of the gameplay. They just took out some 40 pieces of artwork from the highest level cards. I mean, mm-hmm. I, think, I think the game's gross. I don't think I've made that explicitly clear yet. I think that's a gross idea. I don't like it. I don't want it. But, like, I don't care that it exists. I'm not going to tell somebody what they can and can't publish and what they can and can't make. Like, make whatever you want, but, like... Well, that's what I wonder. Like, part of me thinks, you know, I'm an adult. Can, can it just be up to me to decide yeah. whether or not this is appropriate for me? Like, Maybe it's just like, a really clever DLC strategy. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. I mean, they... Like, now people are going to be really interested. Yeah, I guarantee yeah, you, Googling, now people yeah. are going to be Googling these cards. What cards were left out of Monster Mon Piece, mm-hmm. right? Like, now that's a thing. They created a thing. Sure. Like, I, I don't have a problem. Like, if this is someone's bag and they want to buy it and someone else wants to, you know, build their business around making stuff like that, just own it. Just do it. Like, make yeah. that your business. Like, it's not for me. And if someone else wants to say, hey, here's why I'm offended by that, like, that's fine. I'm in favor of everybody. You know, you can make the gross stuff you want to make and someone else can talk about how they're offended by that and everyone's yeah. allowed to do what they want is sort of the stance that I take. This uh, is always the tightrope we walk when we talk about Japanese games being imported, right? It is a different culture and there is so... Yeah. The sex is treated so much differently over there. Yeah. It's not a real sense. So, much, so much differently. It's very tired. It's been a long day. Please be excited for E3. <laughs> <laughs> what did you see in Akihabara? Dude, when you walk around there, I mean, like, like this game's like nothing, like... It's just, it's like, just, it's just anime girls with big boobs everywhere. Like, right. that's what it is. It's yeah. just what it is. And you get, actually get desensitized to it really fast. My girlfriend and I were there, and there's, you know, even she commented, just like, wow, we, we've seen a lot of boobs, and like, it doesn't even affect me anymore now. And like, just in a week, you know? So it is totally different. The official comment from uh, the publisher is, Western society is not as lenient as that of Japan when sexual images are involved, especially images of humanoids that appear to be younger than <laughs> a socially acceptable age. So I think, I think some of these cards... Or like they look like really young naked girls. Right. When you, most naked humanoids. Humanoids. Yeah. <laughs> most humanoids drawn in the anime <laughs> fashion look pretty young. They say the borderline of what is acceptable will always be extremely gray and vary from person to person. But as a responsible company working in the U.S., we had to make the dis- the difficult decision that we did. I mean, they're in a tough spot. Sure. Yeah. So it I sounds like they're trying to do the responsible thing and navigate yeah. that cultural line. Yeah. Th- yeah. They're in a tight spot. I, I like. You could be arrested for having pictures of immature humanoids here. <laughs> I actually really like Carbell games, so I think it's better to get the game than not get it at all. So right. they're, they're not actually humans; they're monsters. Well, yeah, monster girls. So, so what if they were more? What if they were like fifty-one percent monster and only forty-nine percent human? Then it's okay. Doesn't their age doesn't matter? Like, so if it's like if it's like a wolf girl that has like ears, but it's still like a girl, then it's like no, no, no. That's really bad. That's a young girl. But what if she was like more wolf, like with six boobs? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what if she had like, yeah, like I always like, want them to bring that game, the DS game where you wipe the sweat off the men. Dual love. Is, yeah, I want that to come out of I know, right? See, that's what we're talking about. There's no even playing field. <laughs> These games get important <laughs> and it's just like, rubbing a girl and we're all like, well, that seems like a t- bring over the girl, the game where I rub a guy. There I'm, was okay, that game, they, yeah. they were a little bit easier. That's true. Was it on Vita? No. No, this is all DS back game. Chase Nicole. Original <laughs> DS game. <laughs> no, the Vita. developers not supporting <laughs> yeah. the Vita once again. <laughs> Anyway, Monster Mon Piece is out this spring. I'm not sure if there's a release date yet, but that is a Vita exclusive. Finally. Che- check one on the board, huh? <laughs> so I hope, uh, hope stores are prepared. <laughs> <laughs>